Last week, just about a shame. Welcome to my 43rd part of Let's Play Empire Total War. And in this part, you're coming in approximately three years after, or, or two, two or three years after the uh, Indian invasion has begun. And at this point, the Spaniards, I, own pretty much the entire western um, coastline of India. It's, it's all ours. And it kind of happened with minimal um, fighting, because I, I went straight for the jugular on this one and cut off all their trading routes, and their trading routes granted them like, I don't know, like $20,000 a turn, and without that income, the, in, the, the, not, eh, the numbers in the Indian army just decimated like they lost half their troops almost in two turns it was it was pretty absurd and my let my troops uh, wipe out the area fairly uh, fairly easily especially in the south where not a lot of Indian troops actually were uh, there wasn't that many armies down here I'm still kind of trying to find the bulk of their forces if it hasn't been disbanded already because they don't have enough money to upkeep them then it's certainly um, they're certainly here in their Turkish and Middle Eastern Empire. Because any attempts I have uh, tried to make excursions into Turkey have been met with uh, absolute failure, just absolute, just decimated at the hands of the, uh, the massive Indian number. So I think most of their troops are stationed in here. And I think they're also building up an army in these, these provinces. Because I'm beginning to see more elements move in to the surrounding Indian provinces, like I've got an army here, and there's a little army here, and um, this was a pretty weird battle. I took this city with like one army, with one uh, Irish brigade, and because <laughs> it was undefended, so I just kind of went in there and swept up. Also, uh, random aside, I'm actually in a position to cut off, cut the Indian Empire in two, and uh, take uh, Punjab and take Kashmir and just cut this empire into the, what remains the Indian part and then the Middle Eastern part. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push uh, more inland and push more towards uh, the heart and the uh, inland of uh, India here. With the, uh, I've got two armies ready here. They're not in full shape. Some of them are being uh, reinforced, but they still should be enough to take this fortress, although it is manned by almost uh, a full set of dudes. I think we'll be able to to overwhelm and and take their fortress with our with our numbers. So, without further ado, let's begin the siege of Hyderabad and uh, hope that everything turns out for us. So, in this battle, um, it's time to just mortar these guys. And, uh, they're only on a small fortress this time. It's not that big, not like some of their other fortresses they've been in. So it shouldn't be. It should be an easier target for me to uh, potentially just just wipe out. Oh fuck! Wow, the first cannon volley took out a lot of guys. So I'm gonna mo move my horses back into the trees, including my good old-fashioned general. They're all just gonna fall back here, get out of the way of the cannon fire. I'm also gonna initiate some quick climb attacks on their, on their center here. Try and kill some of these clustered guys. And, uh, get an opening bombardment. Try and uh, start taking out some of their walls, some of their fortifications here. And it looks like uh, we've also got some 
reinforcements coming in here. Holy shit. These guys aren't fucking around. They are charging right out of the gate. Charging, I believe, at my mortars. So I'm gonna put these infantry in front of them to defend them. And uh, as you can see, some of these cavalry and uh, oh shit, yeah they're coming right at these mortars. So, oh crap, we're gonna slow it down. Come on guys. Yeah, you get in front of them before the, the cavalry rains down on you. And it looks like they're gonna make it, unfortunately. Oh shit, they're uh, actually Missile cavalry. So I'm gonna bring up some troops to try and deal with them. These guys got rained on with a little bit of fire, but they're okay. They didn't lose any. Ca they didn't lose any guys. These guys lost one. So I'll speed it back up. Try and deal with the. Oh no! They lost two more guys. I'm going to see if I can bring up the infantry and, and deal with them. Try and surround these guys. I think my infantry got a good couple shots on them. And here comes my cavalry. Cavalry blob. Deal with them. Yeah, there we go. Move these guys back. My superior, um... My superior horse cavalry, my superior horses will be able to crush these uh, uh, missile cavalry. My superior heavy cavalry will just wipe these guys out. These Pindari horsemen. Oh, what the hell were these assholes thinking? Oh shit. They're still being bombarded. <laughs> All hiding out in the trees. And there goes the Pindari horsemen. The bombardment of their settlement continues. There you go. They're off. I'll move these guys back into the, to the some cover here. Back here. What are these guys? Do they have mortars too? No, those are just cannons. Okay. So... Oops. I don't want you guys to keep bombarding the center with quick climb. And you, with round shot, need to keep hitting the walls. So we can bust these guys down and, and get in here and start killing some dudes. But until that time, I'm going to skip ahead. Alright, so, uh, significantly into the battle, uh, the Indians have made a couple charges out of the gates for some reason, and it looks like they're gearing up for a major charge after I decided that, uh, I destroyed enough troops to make a massive, uh, assault on their front, because they have left absolutely no men on the walls, oddly enough, and, uh, some of their troops are sallying forth out of the, uh, Out of their out of their town, and I'm gonna try and uh, engage in some some flanking maneuvers here and, and get rid of these little pockets of infantry. And here comes some more. We still got some desert warriors here, which I have no idea how they're able to hide, like just like sit in like bushes or whatever and hide when they're wearing all white clothing. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway. Yeah, these guys are kind of getting uh, surrounded and, and tooled, if you will, if you allow me to use such terminology. And off they go. These guys go. And we've got some armed populace here, kind of standing around, looking uh, looking around dimwittedly. 
waiting for the Spanish to open fire on them. And then, um, over here, we've got the Desert Warriors and some Berengar infantry moving in, but they're getting, uh, they're getting hit hard by my firing lines. And there goes the armed populace. Sikh musketeers and the other armed populace have broken and ran. These guys are hiding out in the forest, so I'm going to bring forward the rest of my troops here to deal with them. While well, my firing line keeps them pinned down here. <laughs> 